It's a terrifying diagnosis for anyone, but for a baby only one month old, leukemia is unimaginable. The reality is sinking in for a Saanich family now preparing for an uphill battle for baby Molly's survival. Kylie Stanton explains. I missed you. Did you miss me? It's been a week, but for this family, it feels like a lifetime. Is it loose? Oh, nice. Mommy wants to see that. Catching up on big news, it's as if nothing has changed. Except now, they're in a hospital visiting the youngest member of their family. And reality is slowly sinking in. I think they, they know that Molly's sick. They probably just don't know how sick she is. Baby Molly, only one month old, was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia last Thursday after being taken to the emergency room with a fever. The illness is a battle for anyone to beat, but for Molly, the outlook is even more grim. If she were a year and a half older or two years older, she'd have a 20% chance of survival. As it stands, she's 30 days old, she's barely a month old, and we're probably looking at maybe best case scenario, a 10% chance. Despite the odds, no one is giving up. You have a whole lot of cheerleaders behind you. And that just came in 24 seconds ago. Messages of hope from around the world are flooding a website developed by friends outlining the family's situation, one that's going to require a lot of support. The website shows that people really care and they really can do something for these people. They can come forward, put their messages forward, and uh, donate some money to help this family out. You can only imagine uh, how devastating they or how hurt this uh, this could be. But for this family, who's lived through what others can only imagine, hearing the news brings it all back. The reminder of the emotions and everything that was just sort of thrown at us and um, it, just huge sadness to think that, oh, here we go again, another family has to go through this. So Mena and her boys, including Jack, who is still in treatment, will do what they do best hosting a charity hockey game in Molly's honor. Knowing that we're playing for Molly and to support her family, I'm, I know it's going to up the ante of the game. Um, we'll be playing with smiles on, but a little tear in our hearts, I tell you. With six months of treatment ahead and up to a year in outpatient care, anything that comes in helps. But for now, a couple of cards from the people who matter the most will get them through at least today. There's nothing really I can do but hold her hand and it's hard. If you want to help Molly and the Campbells make it through this challenging time, there are a few ways you can donate. You can simply mail or drop off a check either to the Canadian Western Bank in Victoria at 1201 Douglas Street or the law firm Mulligan Tam Pearson on the second floor of 736 Broughton Street in Victoria. Checks should be made out to Molly Campbell Trust. And you can also make a donation online through PayPal. Now make sure you check out Molly's website, Molly dash campbell.com for more information and to follow along you can also bring your donations to check if that's more convenient for you we're located at 780 kings road just off of blanchard street in victoria we'd be happy to get your donations to the campbells anytime from 9 a.m to 4 30 monday through for uh, monday through friday rather